Hello, hello, YouTube. Mama Rosie here. I hope you are all doing well. Um, I'm coming at you today with my BoxyCharm Premium for April 2022. Um, I think the price for this box is now $39. I don't remember. But anyway, hi, my name is Mama Rosie for those of you who are new here. So if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so you can follow along with all the funny, crazy stuff I have going on here. Okay, so. This is my boxy charm for April 2022. So let's see what's in here. Let's check it out. Okay, so I gotta put my glasses on, guys. I apologize, but I really can't see much without them. Sorry. And I'm sorry it looks so weird, but I got a new background and I don't think it's working very well. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Um, but what are you gonna do? So the first thing that we see is the card. And it says, Boxy Spring Revival. Okay, spring is always like a new, you know, a renewing time of the year, time to, everything is new and fresh. And I love it when the, the flowers come up and the trees bloom. And down in Georgia, it happens a lot earlier than it did when I lived up north. So I'm loving it, I'm very happy. But anyway, so, you know, I, I, I had been telling you guys that I was going to talk about um, some creepy ghost stories and stuff that happened to me. So while I do this, I'm going to tell you some sto a story. Um, you know, the first item in this box, I think it's my choice item. It is. <laughs> this is Herbivore. Bachu Baku oil? I don't know. I cannot say that. But anyway, I can't say it. But I'm pretty excited about it. It is a retinol alternative. I love retinol, guys. It, it really helps. Um, they say all these things are going to help you get rid of wrinkles and this and that. The only real thing that helps really get rid of wrinkles is A, plastic surgery, B, um, you know, Botox, whatever, and retinol. Moisturizers do help moisturize and can help prevent more wrinkles, but retinoids and retinol are really the best thing to get rid of, of um, wrinkles. Doesn't have a smell. I don't know why, but my hands have been so dry lately and it's just been driving me crazy. Hmm. This feels pretty neat. No smell at all, but feels nice on the skin. Really nice. Like, amazingly. I'm going to put that on tonight before I go to bed. Yeah, I've been, I'm sorry I'm so late with my videos. I've had my boxes for a week now, but I've just been so, so busy uh, at work that I haven't had a chance to do my videos. I'm just tired when I get home and, um, you know, stuff like that. So this is really cool. So this, the price on this, what is the price on this? Let's see if I can actually read it with my glasses. Let's see. <sighs> no. It is $54. That's not too bad if you think about it. It is a naturally derived plant-based serum that smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and visibly fights signs of aging without synthetics or irritating effects. Okay. Gentle enough for most sensitive skin types. Okay. And I can't, I can't say this, but it, it supports surface cell turnover with its retinoid effects. That's really good. So, hey, I'm pretty excited about that. I actually chose that. You know, I mean, I know I like my makeup, but whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys, I don't know if any of you believe in any of this stuff, but um, I'm, when I was a kid, I used to see things that I thought everybody else could see, like um, people walking through walls. And I was a kid, I, who knew, you know, and I just, it was just very strange, but um, it wasn't until I was 14 that I really saw something 
well, no, because I had experiences before that. I had been in the basement of a house I lived in with a friend of mine and we had a Ouija board. Don't ever use a Ouija board, please. It's terrible. And um, one of her family friends had just died. He was a teenager. I think he was in a car accident. His name was Johnny. And we were in there using the Ouija board and this and that. I think I was like 12, maybe 12, 11 or 12. And um, we had the Ouija board on. And in the basement, there was a pool table. It was a really cool basement. We had a lot of fun stuff in there. And a radio. The radio was not plugged in, nor did it have batteries. Um, so we were doing the Ouija board, trying to get in touch with Johnny. So all of a sudden, the radio turns on by itself. No batteries, not even plugged in. And Johnny Angel starts playing. That song, I think it was Shelly Fabre who sang it. Johnny Angel, you know what I mean? How I love him. And I was like, we freaked out, threw the Ouija board and ran out because that was one of the freakiest things that had ever happened to me. Like I said, when I was a kid and I would see people walking through walls, I thought that was a normal occurrence. I really did, but it wasn't. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Um, so that that was kind of it um, for that. And um, we had to move and um, I ended up having to go, we went, it's a long story, but, um, and just imagine being homeless at 12 or 13 years old. That's all I want you to imagine. Um, it's not a pleasant feeling. So uh, an aunt of mine, or uh, she was actually a cousin of my family's, had a house and she said, you guys can stay here. So I would alternate staying there and staying at some of my friends' houses because um, who wants to sleep on a couch in a living room? You know, you're a teenager, almost you've just lost all of basically all of a lot of your possessions. You have very few things left. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll sleep there occasionally, but I would sleep at friends' houses and, you know, <clears throat> but it is what it is. So um, we were sleeping in the living room. It was me and my two of my brothers and my parents were upstairs in one of the bedrooms this is a huge living room and this house was old. I mean, it was old. And, um, so I, I had, I got up and I had to go to the bathroom, right? It was like two o'clock in the morning or something, two thirty, whatever. And I walk out and it was like, you were in the living room and then you walked down into a hallway and the hallway went back to the kitchen and then there was a staircase. And this is the next item in my box, Mitchell and peach body oil. And this looks really cool. So as I go to go up the stairs, I look into the kitchen. And sitting at the table in the kitchen is a man. But the only thing is the man is white and see-through. And he's literally sitting at the kitchen table. I think he had a cat too. I, I think. I don't know. And not only that, he had a can of beer. A ghostly white see-through can of beer. And I'm like... What the hell is that? I'm like, so I'm like freaked out. So I'm, I'm calling my brother. I'm like, Matt, Matt, get over here. Get over here. Come on, come on, come on. And he's like, I am not coming in there. No. I'm like, oh, no, there's a ghost. You got to get out here. He's like, I'm not coming. I'm like, just get over here. He comes in the hallway. I'm still looking at this thing. So he comes in the hallway and he looks and he goes, there's nothing there. I'm like, yes, there is something there. How could you not see that? He didn't see it at all. I was like, how could you not? So he didn't see it. Girl, is to say, I didn't go to the bathroom. I went back in bed and I stayed in that bed and stayed up like the rest of the night. I was freaked out. So the next morning, okay, by the way, this is Mitchell and Peach. Um, English leaves, English leaves. I don't know what happened if I had glasses on folks. So the next day, when I was talking to my parents, Mitchell and Peach English Leaf Body Oil. Hmm. And the price on this is $68 and it's brand new to boxy. This, is, this actually looks really good. But 
Kind of wish it had a stopper. I don't know why it looks so like something was like someone had opened it or something. That's kind of freaky. Look at that. It looks like something's on the glass. So the next morning I was talking to my dad and um, I told him and my mom what had happened the night before. And um, my dad said, as I described what the guy looked like, what he was doing, everything, my father said, oh my God, you saw my uncle. And it was, I described him to a T and it was his actual uncle. And he, they showed me a picture and it was his uncle. Hmm. It kind of smells, it smells fresh. Not too bad. I mean, I'm not big on body oils, but you know what? Sometimes after, uh, you know, before bed, you'd take a nice bath and you put on a nice body oil. And, and my skin now is so dry um, I could really use something, but that's, that's pretty neat. So apparently the ghost that I saw at the table was my great uncle. He was the father of my cousin who owned this house. And, um, I never knew what he was trying to tell me, but I figured it out years and years later. Um, I had met a boy at a party I actually dreamt of this, of him before I met him. But anyway, um, he became my boyfriend and he's now my husband. But anyway, um, we were going to go down into the basement one day, me, him, and my brother, because we're front, they're, they're friends too. So we went down into the basement and the second I got into the basement, I could not stay in the basement. I had to get out. I had to literally run out of this basement. And I was like, what the heck is, why am I so frightened of this basement? And I never went back in the basement. I refused. I went down there one time and I never went back. And I got the feeling that there was evil in that basement. And it was so frightening to me that I just, I couldn't do it. And I realized later on that my uncle, my great uncle was trying to tell me, I got this, you're safe. This is not, whatever's down there is not coming in because I'm going to hold it at bay. And I think that is what my uncle was trying to say when I saw him. I, I had never met him. He had died before I was born. But um, I'm very grateful that he, you know, he did that. And the weird thing is, is when my, um, my father's cousin passed away and somebody bought the house, it was friends of my family who bought the house. They never had any experiences, nothing, never. They never saw anything. They never got any weird feelings. Um, it was just very weird how that happened to me. That house is now gone. Um, they tore it down and I guess, as usual, put a townhomes or something up in its place. But um, yeah, that was, uh, that was only the beginning of some of my experiences. Um, but I'll get into some more of those at a, at a different time. So I'll get back to the unboxing. I'm sorry. I'm just yapping your ear off. So the next thing in my box is Dr. Brandt eye cream. Hmm. I love Dr. Brandt. I don't like this lipstick at all. It's very weird. And it's not the right color for me. I apologize. But anyway, I'm... I'm can you tell I must have ADD or something? But in the and the the thing in the glasses and the oh god whatever, whatever it is what it is. Uh, so, Dr. Brandt's products are incredible. I love them all. And it, I've never used one that I thought was bad. Every single one of his products are incredible. So let's see what it says about this one. Dr. Brandt eye cream, an eye cream that smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, moisturizes the dry the eye area. Fades the appearance of dark circles and reduces the look of puffiness. Hey, I right up my alley. I need this. And the price on this is, wait a minute. That can't be right. Am I reading that right? Can you, let me see if I can even get it in focus. I think it says $82 or something. It doesn't focus. $82. $82. Dude, if I paid $82 for this tiny tube, there better come a plastic surgeon with who's going to fix my eyes somehow because that, no. 
Dr. Brent, I love you, but that is a bit too pricey for me. But I'm so glad. That's why we have boxy charms so we can get stuff like this and use it. Okay, so the next item in my box is My Beauty Brand by Me. Well, that's pretty neat. And it is a black liquid eyeliner. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm very excited about this liquid eyeliner. Um, I love black liquid eyeliners. I really do. Oh, this looks this looks promising. Oh, yes. Let's see. We're just going for the eye. I haven't had eye fresh in my eye makeup since this morning. So let's see. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm crazy. I know. Oh, I like it. Look at that. Ooh. Mommy like. And it's the felt tip. I love the felt tip. That's that's awesome. I am so excited about this thing. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I love black liquid eyeliners, especially the felt tip pens. I like the brush ones, but if I want to do the brushes, I never get it right. I mean, heck, I barely get it right with these, but that's okay. So the price of this is, let's find out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. My Beauty Brand Buy Me Black Liquid Eyeliner. It is $20. Okay, that's not, that's reasonable. Your new Holy Grail product created for both the eyeliner expert and the winged eye novice. The flexible felt tip combined with highly pigmented smudge proof color. Yeah, I can read. Guarantees a long lasting and intense defined look. Hey, right, we'll find out. Uh, it's probably crooked, but that's okay. So I haven't put eyeliner on since like 7.30 this morning. So here you go. And it's now what? What time is it? Almost nine at night. But that's okay. I'm excited. I'm not angry about that. I'm pretty excited about that, actually. Oh, what else do we got in here? Uh, okay. Anyway, um, it's a lip balm. It is a lip balm. By and what is this called? Endata Hydrating Lip Balm. It's twenty-five dollars. Protect your pout with this natural organic lip balm that is packed with super hydrating ingredients. With a gorgeous glossy finish, this hydrating lip balm soothes cracked or chapped lips and protects skin from dryness. Okay, well, uh, there's more to read, but whatever. I'm gonna tell you what. When your lips get dry, that's your body telling you something. It's your body telling you you're dehydrated and you need to drink water. And um, lip balms do help, but the thing is that is a sign that you are dehydrating and you need to drink water. So let's see. I, I've seen this in a couple of other videos and I see it was pretty thick. Let's see. I'm squeezing. Please don't come flying out like a lunatic and go everywhere. Maybe that wasn't the right analogy. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm like literally squeezing this as hard as I can. Come in. Come out. Pop, really? What am I doing? Okay. Come on. What is this? Here we go. I'm trying so hard to get it out and it's not coming out. Is it? Is it coming out finally? No. What? Oh, finally. Wow. I didn't think it'd be that hard. Let's see. All right, I'll see. Hmm. That's kind of um minty. Mm, it's pretty nice. I like it. I do like it, but I don't know if I'd pay twenty five dollars. Is it twenty five? Is that what I said? Twenty five for a lip balm? That's kind of like pricey, right? $25. All right. Give me one second, guys. I I have to close my door. Hang on one second. I don't even know if I can reach it from here. I'm going to use my Ipsy bag. Hang on. Okay. 
Okay, sorry. I'm back. Anyway. So I have one more item in my box and I'm actually quite excited about it. It is. Ooh, Natasha Denona. Cupid Cheek Duo. Now remember that we got the Cupid Eye Palette in the last box? Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. This is this is a cream and this is a powder. So that's pretty exciting. Let's see. I'm gonna actually, well, I don't wanna touch it yet. Maybe I'll do it later. But that's really exciting. Um, I like her stuff. Her stuff is really good. I was gonna do it, but then I realized, you know what, I'm touching so many other things. I don't wanna contaminate it, so. But, so that was it, guys. It was the Batchouli oil, but but Batchouli, whatever, however you say that. The Mitchell and Peach body oil, which is pretty good. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it, but I'll try. And it was the um, Andada hydrating lip balm, which is pretty cool. The Dr. Brand eye cream. This box is actually pretty good. The eyeliner and the cheek palette the blush so overall i'm pretty satisfied with this palette with this palette Bleh. with this box i mean look it is what it is i got some pretty good products for for 40 dollars. i mean this eye product alone paid for the whole box and i mean i don't think ipsy does go by my profile and i don't know why but um hey it is what it is now, there were six products in there. Hang on, did I get them all? Yes, I did get them all. Okay, so um, that's all for this box, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, as I get older, you know, skincare is more and more important. Actually, skincare, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when you're younger, skincare is extremely important. Um, always put on eye cream. Always um, take off your makeup at night. Don't be silly because I didn't do that. And I did damage my skin. But I do have nice skin because I did use skincare. But um, just remember, things. there are some things that skincare can't do. It's not going to get rid of under eye bags. It's not going to get rid of you know, a lot of things. But when you're young, because I'm in my 50s now, but when you're young, start young. You know what I mean? Start with the skincare early, you know? And I apologize for what I look like. I've just been working a lot and um, I haven't really had time to do anything for me in a while. And I think, um, I think I need like a little couple of days rest. I think I'm going to get that this weekend. So we'll see. So, all right, my little rosettes and my rock stars, I love you all. And um, you have a wonderful week until we meet again. Okay, peace out and I love you. Mwah.